Two days ago, I got a brand new Xbox Series S and coming from PlayStation 4, that meant that I had to completely start FIFA from scratch. So over the past two days, I've been grinding from zero coins all the way up to 100,000 coins in just two days with around six hours play time, which I don't think is that bad to be honest. So in this video, what I wanted to do was show you guys how to go from absolutely zero coins to over 100,000 coins really, really quickly, considering that I've used all these methods, they're all up to date. So if you enjoy this video, drop a like on it. If this video gets over 500 likes, I'll turn this into a trading to 1 million coin series. If you want to see that, drop a like on this video. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service, they're completely reliable, and if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So boys, jumping into this video, as you'll be able to see in the top left, I'm currently on 36k. Ignore that. I am on over 100k, however, I have put some coins into different players from different trading methods. Now, this is the last day for you lads to enter my giveaway. If you do want to win yourself a £25 Amazon gift card or £25 in your PayPal account, all you lads need to do is like this video, subscribe if you're new, send me a picture on Instagram, there's a link in the description. But everyone who is on my transfer list at the minute is everyone who I have been trading with. It's been a couple of different players, we've had golds in there, we've had bronze players in there, silver players in there, and I'm going to tell you lads, every single single method which I have used to get my 100,000 coins. Now, I'm on 36k at the minute. However, like I said, I have been doing some trading and some cards are actually still sat on my transfer list as you can see right here. Once you add up all of these right here, I think it's just over 100,000 coins or just the tiniest bit less. Just just allow me, please, for God's sake. However, I've got a Marshall here who I am going to list up at 16,000 coins. I've got some El Arabis as well who I may list on now or may wait for them to go back up. I'm honestly not too sure. However, I want to show you lads every method that I've been using. Now, to start off with, what I did, I went and played my placement games. As you'll be able to see in the top left, I won one, drew two, lost two. Managed to get myself around 50,000 coins, which actually gave me a very, very good starting point to do some trading with. And I'm going to show you, lads, the first and, in my opinion, the best method if you are sat at around 50,000 coins and you're wanting to get, a say, 100,000 coins. Now, what you need to do is come over to the market, go over to special, min price, you want to set this to 10,000 coins. You want to set your max price to 20,000 coins, and then what what you want to do is set your min buy now to 30,000 coins. Now, this is called the 123 method. So, the method which I've actually done a video on before, however, in the past, I told you lads to do with gold team of the week. However, do it with special, it's just 10 times easier. You can get over here by just going like this on your controller and you eventually get there. So, we're going to go to special and we're going to search up onto the market. Now, what we need to do is find ourselves a player. For example, we found ourselves Zayek right here, and you basically need to find yourself players who already have bids on them because if they've got a bid under them, that means that they are actually in demand and they may be the tiniest bit too low for the price that it is. So as you'll be able to see here, first off, we found ourselves a Zayech and we've also found ourselves a Pacheco. Pacheco, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Both of these cards at the minute are going for around 30,000 coins. The reason why I know that is, is because I've already been trading with them. However, if you need the prices of the players, you can go and check them on the market or what you can do is just go and check Footbin and they will have up-to-date prices. Now, when you're using this method, one thing that I'd recommend that you look out for is players who have shadow on them and hunter on them because it will increase the value however if you can't find any players with that it's absolutely fine because you can still get yourself some deals on some of these now what i like to do personally is sort of wait until the time remaining is under 10 seconds because then you'll be able to know what the player's stable price is because what's going to happen now is you're going to be trying to win these cards on open bid looking to make a profit of around 10 to 20 percent per card after the air tax which is obviously five percent and there you go. That's pretty much the method, to be honest, boys. So at this point, I'm literally just waiting for these prices to just settle ever so slightly because people are going to be getting into bidding wars. There's no point me dropping bids at 13,000 coins when this Pacheco goes for like 30k because I'm immediately going to get outbid. And if I sit here and wait for the time to keep going down and down and down, when it gets to around under the 10 second mark, I know that the price is starting to level out ever so slightly. So with this Zayat right here, he's going for around 22,000 coins on open bid at the minute. However, he's going up really, really quickly. So we're going to quickly compare per his price and just get a sort of idea of what his price is going for. There is actually another one coming in in four minutes, which is really good. So we'll add that to our transfer targets as well. And we'll hopefully be able to get ourselves some deals on these cards. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get into some bidding wars and then we're going to come back and see how many coins I've made. So boys, I actually missed out on those other cards from before. It happens. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Either way, though, I've actually managed to win myself a Ward Prowse for 13.7. 
50. And I've also managed to get myself an Ollie Watkins potentially in 3, 2, 1 for 12k. Now, I know that Ollie Watkins is definitely selling for over 13,000 coins. However, he's been changed to a centre mid and he's in Hunter as well. So that could actually increase his value ever so slightly. Got an Aspas coming in shortly as well, which I might try and take a look at, but I'm honestly not too sure. Just want to jump over to the market though and take a quick look at Ward Prowse and just see how much he is going for with his gold team the week card. Now, I checked on Footbin and he was going for around 17,000 coins. However, lads, please do try and double, triple check the prices because as you can see, there's a war prowse up here at 15,000 coins. Next one after that is 16,250. So I may try and list overnight at 16,000 coins. However, this one not selling at 17k makes me a bit sus. You know what? Actually, I'll go 15,500 for ward prowse. And then what I'm going to do really quickly is go and check Watkins as well. And let's go and see how much Watkins is going for at the minute. His gold team, the weak card, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so he's going for 13,000 coins. There's actually one there at 13,000 coins with a hunter and a centre mid, which is a bugger. That sells on though, we could be able to make better profit with the one that we have actually got. Either way though, we're going to be making pretty decent profit on both these cards. 15,000 coins or 15,500 on Ward Prowse. 13,000, 13,250 on Watkins. So overall, nice profit. So this has been a method which I've been using a hell of a lot over the past couple of days. And honestly, I, I, I really do find it probably one of the better methods for a lower coin total. Because the thing is, with informs, they fluctuate so much. And especially when people are just sat mindlessly opening packs over any promo event that EA throw out. What happens is a a lot of these sort of communities focus shifts away from a lot of these cards and then what they do is just completely forget that a lot of these cards exist but we've got an Aspas who is coming in ever so soon so we'll see what he is actually going for but we've got our cards up on the market now and I do want to show you lads other methods that I have been using over the past couple of days which have been making me really really good good coins so say for example you're already the tiniest bit through and you can't instantly get 50k this is the method for you if you've got 10k this is a perfect method for you now what i've been doing is been trading with uefa champions league rare going over to the position and setting this to defenders and then setting the chemistry style to shadow now with this on xbox as you'll be able to see here the minimum price of all of these is actually sat around 3.5k that's actually a deal at one at 3.4k so we are going to pick that one up instantly you can see how good this method is though so what you're going to be doing is finding the minimum price of all of these champions league rare defenders with a shadow on them then then what you want to do is once you've found the minimum price just try and take a look through the 59th minute kick about the 59th minute and just see what cards are actually going for what you'll actually be able to do is actually find yourself amazing amazing deals on a lot of cards now tomori isn't a good deal as far as I'm aware. I don't, I'm pretty sure that that card isn't a good deal. I will add him to my transfer tag. This is the good thing about Xbox as well is that these cards don't actually go instantly. So what you're actually doing with this little filter is basically finding cards who are up at a similar price to whatever the minimum price is without a shadow on them. So we've actually found Tomori here at 3.2K and that's actually what he is selling at without a shadow on him. Now with a shadow on him, he's going at the minute, let's just take a look at 4.2K. Okay, so we're just going to pick this up just in case anyone else does actually pick it up. And basically what you're trying to find are players who have been listed up with a shadow on them who are close to their normal default price without any chem style on them. Because what you'll actually do after that is if you start to take a look at that individual card, and as you'll be able to see here, they'll go for a hell of a lot. Now he ain't going to sell at 8.4k. That's just not going to happen. Now the reason why he won't sell at that is because you can pick up a Tamori with a UCL card on. You can come over here and you can go and take a look at chem style. So we'll go over to shadow over here and then you can literally just buy the chem style off the market now as you'll be able to see here the minimum price on all these at the minute is around 3.8k so we've picked up our tomori at 3.7 he's going at 3k so to convert him that brings his price up to like 6 7k however you want to do a massive massive undercut to ensure that your player definitely sells on so we jump over to the transfer list we go over to my tamori right here that i've got at 3.7k and we just list him up at 4.5k the big thing with this method is lads do not get greedy do not get greedy like here we've got ourselves a wan basaka who is actually going for as far as i'm aware even without a shadow for around 3,000 coins which could be very very nice indeed so let's first off find what wan basaka is going for without a shadow on him so we're going to go over to the ucl rare 4.2k with a shadow okay so he's going for 4 
Okay, so we're going to pick up that one as well. We ignore the one that we got before. So we're going to pick that one up as well. We're going to take the shadow off. And without a shadow, he's actually going for around 3,000 coins there or thereabouts. Let's take a look. Yeah, 3.5k, 3.4k. And then with a shadow on him now, after we've bought the next one up, he should be going for, if I had to guess around 5,000 coins. Five, yeah, there you go. So 4.9K people listening up for six hours. So we've actually got ourselves very, very nice deals with this. And this is a method which you lads can go and use. It will make you very, very nice coins. And you can see right here, lads, that I've been trading with these methods and I've actually made very, very nice profits. So with this one, we're gonna go for 4.5K. And then with this one, we're gonna go for 4.5K and we're gonna make around one and a half K over both of those plays, which is actually really, really good. Now lads, I have got one last method for you. If you can't make any coins in FIFA, if you honestly, you just don't understand the 1, 2, 3 method or you don't get the UCL method, this one is the method for you. Quality, silver, just stick in the Premier League or league and it's completely up to you. Now, as a result of icon swaps being released, you can actually pick up silver cards from league and, and the Premier League who will then resell for a very, very inflated price. Price? Price because they will be required for those objectives like I think some of them uh, you have to score with X amount or you have to play with X amount in your team so as a result of that silver players have actually gone very very inflated the good thing about this is though new players to the game don't understand what silvers are going for but they don't realize that they could go for maybe three four five K they list them up for pretty much minimum price and then you can come in and make three four five K per card which is the best thing about this method you can get very very lucky with it so I'll go off and I'll try and get myself a snipe and and we'll see how much that card will make us. So let's get into it. There we go. Oh, there we go, boys. 500 coins on a French Leon player. Must be going for something. Surely must be going for something. His nation matches his league. 1.5k, 1.6k. So with that one, we could potentially be making ourselves over 1,000 coins profit with that card if we listed it up at 1.6k like some of the other cards are going for. However, we're going to list it up for the tiniest bit undercoated price just to ensure that he gets a sell on for this video. But... You can see how easy this is. Honestly, it's so, so easy. And this method will work for, as far as I'm aware, for as long as we have got icon swaps. Now, we've just missed out on two cards. A Diaby at 500 coins who's going for 2k. And Diaby, did I say? Diawa. Diaw. I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name. Either way, though, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. It really, really isn't too hard to get coins with this method. So make sure to go and try this out. However, if we jump over to our transfer list, we've got all these cards still waiting to sell on. Nine selling at the minute. And once they sell on, we should be over 100,000 coins profit. And we've got these ones as well. So overall, let's... I think these methods should make you a lot of coins. I hope that you go out and use them and try them out because honestly, they should work very, very well indeed. However, this is going to be the end of the video. If you've enjoyed it, please do smash a like on this video. If you want to see that training series on next gen, drop a like on it and I'll do it. I'll try and do it like an everyday series up until like Christmas or something like that. So let's this 26, Lewis, and I am off. Goodbye.